Welcome back to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill, and today we'll be discussing the Rick and Morty collaboration done on the Lomelo MB02s. Let's take a quick sneak peek. Welcome back everyone to another unboxing and review. Today we are going to be talking about this crazy collaboration done with Rick and Morty on the Lamello MB02s. So we'll go through the overview of these, jump into size and fit, followed by how I style this crazy eccentric pop of color. Then we'll conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market. So let's jump right into it. For those of you who are Rick and Morty fans, this is definitely a must cop. I will say that these are a very much so look at me sneaker and color combination that they've decided to go with on this. This is literally a mismatch to the max. Uh, this is Lamello's second take on his signature shoe for the Rick and Morty collaborations that have already been done. So really excited to see Rick and Morty do a secondary collab just because they are so fun and so intricate. So let's go through some of the tech specs on the sneaker itself. So the upper uses this really cool micro molded mesh or mono mesh. Basically it's like a lightweight supportive material and fused with plastic accents. Uh, similar basically to uh, Nike's Hyper Fuse, which was used to give basically a super thin, lightweight, additional support to add to the sneaker itself. All right, where do we start with color schemes of this? Because they're so crazy and so different. I feel like I haven't done a sneaker similar to this since the Asics Sean Wertherspoon. So it's really cool to just have a similar kind of opposite or polar opposite color combination going on with the sneaker. Uh, but let's get into basically the wings, which are shown on both of the sneakers, obviously in different types of colorways. On this color combination, you'll notice that Rare is actually outlined on the medial side of the sneaker, which is really cool because for most of you who are hardcore Lamello fans, you'll know that Rare is basically his description of what he adds to the game on the court and what he's able to bring to the table. So really cool that instead of incorporating wings on both, they decided to make rare into the wing kind of shape. All right, so now let's look at the cool details on both the tongue. So you'll see on this purple and green color combination, we've got a zombified Rick. And then they've zombified Morty on the pink and yellow as well. So they've got these really cool neon color zombified looks. So let's just take a look actually on the inside here. So we have Wubba Lubba Dub on Rick's side Wubba Lubba on the Dub interior Dub. of the tongue itself. So for those of you who are Rick and Morty fans, you'll know that Rick typically uses that phrase when he's happy or makes a joke. So makes sense why they put that on the interior of the tongue on that one sneaker. And then let's check out Morty's get your shit together is on Morty. So for those of you, again, who are big hardcore fans, you'll know that that was Morty's really famous speech that he gave in season two, episode seven. And that's where he's basically talking to Summer in that speech. All right. As far as laces go, we've got pink laces set on this one and purple on this. And then Rick and Morty is displayed on the front here. The interior has, again, both of their zombified images on the insole. And then we've got a little bit of Puma basketball branding on the interior as well. I do love how when you look really close, I didn't really see this on a lot of images, but there are a lot of sparkles 
on the black portions of the wings. So it's really kind of glitzy and glammy. On the back, we've got Lamello's signature logo there. And of course we've got it in those alternating color schemes, but again, keeping that really nice, vibrant neon pop of color. Let's jump into the midsole technology. So the midsole actually has what's called nitro foam inside of it. And that's also in addition to the cushioning pucks embedded into the heel and the forefoot of the sneaker itself. Uh, and that's basically part of the cushioning system mimicking zoom air units throughout. This was basically done to give similar responsiveness as well as nice a nice lightweight comfort. All right, so as far as the outsole goes, you'll see that we've got this translucent color scheme. So you can see the rare on the bottom of each. Of course, the colors are both swapped in different ways. Uh, so the outsole is very grippy as usual, but in comparison to the MB01s, this is definitely different because you don't have that spiral pattern. And I would say between the two, the spiral pattern wins overall, but this definitely still has a bit of stick to it. Um, but the herringbone in regards to traction is by far the stickiest one out there. So now let's take a look at all those details. And actually, before I jump into those details, let's just talk a little bit about, uh, let's jump into a little details on the box. So we've got Rick and Wardy on here. And again, just kind of that signature outer space look to the box, but uh, giving it that signature collab feel with Rick and Wardy added onto it. All right, so now let's take a look at those details. So for me, um, I typically go a full size up on these. I just feel like they run a little bit more on the snug side. I would highly recommend at least going half a size to a full size up. All right, so now let's jump into styling. Again, just a very crazy, quirky sneaker. Uh, you can definitely dress these up though and have fun with them. These aren't just meant for the court. So if you wanna make this a lifestyle shoe, feel free to do that. For the first look, kept it pretty casual with some nice khaki pants. And then I wore a nice, just colorful button down uh, Zara uh, Rude collaboration to give it a pop of color, I layered that with a black bomber coat. I live a different type of life. Oh, I walk by faith and not by sight. And then for the second look, I kept a little on the dressy side with a nice satin purple maxi skirt. And then I wore a nice kind of pattern vest, which was cream and multicolored. And then for the last and final look, decided to keep it dressy and I wore a green fitted dress and I tied just a nice kind of sparkly black crochet shirt around that to kind of match the sparkly black hues that you see on this specific silhouette. 
guys who lives through me, life's not the same. Cause I've been renewed, he changed my name. Don't know which way to go, torn between the two to say. I wanna go be with the one who put this burning fire in me. And now I see the way he wants me to be. Honey, let me spill the tea on all these haters. How love me. Broke up all the killing. Winning at a two. Then gonna get with my guy, see my altitude. I don't miss a sound, man. Baby, you would lose. If I wasn't me, I get it. I would hit me too. Uh. I can do it. In a bad mood, pack a body in a hurry. Go, go, and keep on hot about it. I don't worry. Get through the weather, feeling get better. Jumping the gun up by it. As far as retail goes, these are around 130 on the retail market. And as far as resale, they're going between 130 to 170, depending on your size. All right, that's it for this unboxing and review. Thank you so much for tuning in. We will catch you on the next episode. Banger, banger. Banger, banger,